Hello, bot channel friends. <clears throat> Today is Friday. I think this might be our last day doing Point Lookout. If it's not, I have no clue what we're going to do on the last day. Maybe keep grinding and see how high of a level we can get, how much money we can make, etc., etc. Uh, if you are watching on the VOD channel, I appreciate you. I love you. Uh, uh, leave a like on the uh, VOD if you're here. That would be nice. That would be kind. It helps the channel a lot. Skip forward. I'll leave a timestamp when the gameplay actually starts. Should I do like a starting soon screen so I don't have to just awkwardly sit here until like notifications go out? Chatter show up. Maybe I do the opposite and I just go right into playing. Hello, numbers. You're the first one here. How are you? Thank you, kind sir. Refuge, you are far too kind. Thank you very much. For the tier one. Charlie Cat, this is your first time here. Thanks for stopping by. We're going back to Point Lookout. This might be the last Point Lookout stream. We might be able to get one more. I kind of want to see how much we can grind and make a ton of money. Why is James still here? Uh, pass. Pass. Hello, Juvie, how is it going? Uh, Rotillo, it is going well. Oh no, Kian, you meant all caps. You meant to shout that. Don't worry, I'm not judging. Only slightly, I'm judging a little bit. <clears throat> Orzoi, hello, hello to you. Did great work on the last video. I appreciate that, Miller. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. I decided at a certain point about halfway through it that I was just going to make the last 20 minutes of it complete nonsense and just highlights. It was definitely a different vibe than a lot of recent videos. I'm glad you're playing the mod. Thank you very much. We very much appreciate it. Remember to endorse the randomizer mod on the Nexus if you're playing on PC. Give it five stars if you are on console. I just had my video editor open. My PC might have exploded if I started recording. All right, let's go back to Point Lookout. I'm, we're just going to go right into it pretty quickly today. I got to make sure that I get to the right actual save file. OK, we are recording. Good. All is well on my end. Obsolete, thank you for the 200 bits. I appreciate that. You just started Point Lookout as well? I've enjoyed it. I actually think it's been pretty good. It's been underwhelming in some places, but uh, pretty good in others. Miller time, thank you very much for gifting a tier one. This stream just made my day. Oh, stop. You're too kind. You're too kind. Oh, I have to move myself. I forgot I'm down in the corner. Oh, crap. Can't do it from this angle. I gotta... I was like up here last time. How high do I need to be? Right about there should be good, right? Yeah, we'll count it. Thank you, kind sir. There we go. You can see enough of my health bar, right? It's all good. Numbers, thank you very much for the tier one. One and only Stormy, thank you as well. Thank you for the tier one. How am I? Uh, White Lote, I am uh, doing well. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm actually in a really, <laughs> I'm in a really good move or good mood. You know I'm in a good mood when I can't speak properly, which is almost all the time. How's the weather? The weather where I'm at, uh, wasn't too bad today. It was actually really nice out. So I think what I want to do, where are we? we? We should be close to leveling up again. I want to say we are. We're level nine. I need about 500 more XP. So we need to go out hunting. The only problem is that there's certain enemies that give us a lot of XP, but those enemies are really tough and they do a lot of damage to us. We've made a good amount of money. We're able to make a decent amount of money. 
Our friend at Haley's Hardware is really nice at repairing our stuff because we glitched him up to 100 repair. Welcome back to Haley's Hardware. Love this guy. Sure as the swamp folks head is squishy. Worth every Wait, can he not repair my armor? I must have already paid him to repair my armor. All right, sweet. Shadow, thank you for the 200 bits. Ooh, looks like we got one of our little squishy head folks over here. I'm starting to like this gun less as I use it. Although the damage is pretty good. It leads to a lot of net positive engagements where we make money. I wonder what Haley did with the Crypt Bacna. It would be very funny if he eventually did something wild with it. Or whoever you gave it to, you would just find them dead. It's kind of crazy. Throughout this whole DLC, every single loot chest we look into, like a toolbox or a metal box, basically any type of box we open up and search, there's going to be fission batteries, paint guns. There's like three specific items that are constantly respawning. I want to say that there's... Where's the camp? Uh, not ritual site. Yeah, right here. Beachview campsite. There's like four or five enemies that all spawn there. It'd be nice if I had a fat man. Because then I could just take out groups of these guys, get a couple hundred XP nice and easy. Not have to run through a million stim packs each engagement. Am I running low on them? 34 stim packs. Yeah, here we go. See, we've got tracker. The big ones that look like the guy from the Goonies. Those are th those ones do a lot of damage. Or actually, no, it's not even those ones. Can I hit invats from here? 20%? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this as easy as I can for myself. Because I do have the commando perk. Or whichever perk helps with vats and semi-auto rifles. Worth every See that? That's annoying to me. I have I have my stealth boy on still. Come on. Yeah, I can't sneak a. Oh, uh, hold on. Time out. Would you slow down, dude? We are playing on very hard, by the way. Addicted to medics. I'm addicted to like every drug now. Nice. Nice. Relatively unproblematic, this battle. It seems like this character is not very good at hitting us. If we just keep falling backwards, he won't be able to kill us. He'll just keep... I think he's cute. I think people are too mean to old Tracker here, all right? He can't control all of his issues. God 
God damn it. All right. Barely made it out. Can I sell that axe? Nah. It's too heavy to really worry about selling it. There's still one quest we haven't done, by the way. I want to try and level up one more time, though, before we do it. I need one more level. I want to put all my skill points from that level into guns. Z-Man. I'm very happy as well that it's on Xbox. I can't believe we got it out on Xbox as quickly. I can't even say we. Again, I'm really happy that DDM was able to get it out on Xbox. It's just cool, because I feel like there's not a lot of game mode type mods that work on console. Okay, here we go. There's a group of dancing mutants right over here. I found them when I was looking for thumbnails, so I knew I wanted to stop over here. Freeze, this is a holdup. Hand over the words of your sponsors? Never. I'm gonna regret getting into this fight, aren't I? At least they're all using melee. This is good. I can just keep walking backwards. Nice and easy, one at a time. Oh shit, another one's tracker. Whoa. This gun does some weird stuff to the frame rate. Okay. All right, you know what, gentlemen? Look, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have early access to this season's DVD set of Duck Dynasty. Back, get away from me. Get your own copy of the collection. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna try and use one of these bubbles to my advantage. Or not. Whoa, it works. Hold on, wait, the bubbles are actually really effective. Oh my God, they're really good. I'm gonna do nothing but use the bubbles from now on. Oh, <laughs> stay down. I'm just barely fast enough to stay away from him. Psycho withdrawal, medics withdrawal. Fuck, get out of the way. If I go down, all of us go down. That one doesn't even have a weapon anymore. You know what I keep forgetting people mentioned? I gotta take out their weapons. Hopefully this puts down their damage output by a lot. I'm really surprised. The jump in difficulty these guys took after we put it on very hard is insane. I feel like they were hardly an issue before. Ah! Come on, let me finish him off. Shh. 
trees. <laughs> They still do really good damage, even when they're just punching me. Fuck. I actually hate this gun. It's the most powerful one I have per shot. It just feels so cumbersome to use right now. Like, get the fuck out. Mmm, sorry. Apologies. I'm gonna lose my mind. How am I getting hit right now? Yeah, run away. Run. It's been two minutes. I'm already getting really pissed. 26. Yeah, it does 46 damage. It's barely touching them. Apparently the Chinese assault rifle does 65 damage. Since when? Die. Suck microwaves. You know what? This one might not actually be as annoying to use. And then they go down underwhelmingly either way i'll take the xp what does uh yeah i guess i should try to aim for their legs next and see what crippling their legs does i need some drugs where are the other two i knocked down right back here guy i got them both like right at the same time all right, stim packs. What do we have left? 21. So I used 13 in those two engagements. There we go. More punga. I need to get ammo. Going back to my friend Haley. I wonder what kind of debuffs I'm going to have with all my addictions. They're going to really add up. Minus one strength, one endurance, one intelligence, one agility, one perception, one endurance. So two endurance, one perception, one agility, one intelligence, one strength. That's not good. Yeah, we have a lot of debuffs. Welcome back to Haley's Hall. That's what I'm here for. We're doing good on money, though. 2,500 caps. I can probably afford a few losses. So we'll stock up on medics, psycho, as much as we can. Buff out, I'm going to need to take when I can get it. Moonshine sells for a good amount. I guess I don't need purified water if I just rely on stim packs. Booze isn't bad for money. Definitely fission batteries. I have to keep an eye out for fission batteries. There's still one more quest we haven't done. Break the break. Thank you for the 200 bits. You heard today isn't my birthday. Today is, in fact, not my birthday. Yeah, I didn't realize the Chinese assault rifle damage was so high. I mean, nearly 50% better than the semi-auto lever action, unique variant lever action. Thank you, kind sir. Potato. Potato. Tomato. Eric, thank you very much for the prime. Half a year. Thank you. You know where I bet the enemies have respawned? Up north. Yeah, at this turtle dove detention camp.
Ooh, we can go grave robbing. Have I already gra uh, robbed these graves? I might have. Yeah, it looks like I did. How come human flesh has no sell value? Thank you, I would love sir. to sell human flesh. Be a vendor of the carnal act of cannibalism. Badgy, thank you very much for the prime. Thank you for saying screw off ads. No ads on my Twitch stream. Now the VODs are a different story, <laughs> but those you can skip. Skippable ads are, are are skippable ads pog? Is that something that we would call pog? Or are they also just not pog? Ooh, you know what I want to check? I think there's a place in here, in this basement, there's... Maybe we did check it. But I want to try. Did we take this tunnel? We did take this tunnel. Yeah. Okay, I remember it now. It took me a second to realize. This just leads us back out into the swamp. It's like a secret entrance. Excuse me. Excuse me, sorry. Sorry. I don't really know where to direct that one and aim it. Friendly fire, friendly fire, we've lost control. That thing had recoil. <laughs> Blasted back. Thank you, kind sir. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you, Screaming Pudding. I appreciate it. Thank you for the tier one. Two months. That's a streak. What do we got here? Smoking or non-smoking? Smoking, please. Strange. Why is that rock smoking? Someone needs to warn that rock of the dangers of smoking. Okay, not seeing any baddies. We kind of cleared this place out last stream. We did a pretty good job of it. Punga fruits everywhere. Not seeing many, too many places we can discover. Thank you, kind sir. Trash Panda, thank you very much for the tier one. Ah, there we go. Something to shoot at. It's a glowing one, though. Is crippling it just going to make it faster? Okay, no, it, did, it actually did slow it down. That's good. Oh, fuck me. Unless I can... I can't get on a rock. Hey, hey, where you going? Don't use the water of invincibility against me. Woo. Oh my, oh my lord. Ooh, we're so close to level 10. We're right there. As painful as those really tanky enemies are to fight, 75 XP is hard to say no to. Although I'd rather fight 10 of the other ones that are weaker than a couple of the big guys. Can't go that way. I want all the punga fruit. 
Every punga I can acquire, I'm gonna take from now on. Wanna be a punga drug lord. I'm not gonna give the uh, cult that's in town, though, anything to worship if I take all their fruit. They'll have to move on. They could relocate to Iowa. They could start worshiping corn. They'd fit in well. I want to say I've discovered all the key locations out here. I'm just kind of scanning right now. Oh, now I can shoot the bubble. The Congregation of Corn Ship. I remember when I was in college, we were football rivals with Nebraska. And a lot of the arguments would be about who makes better corn. We're probably not going to run into too many encounters out here. We cleared out a lot of this place yesterday, especially towards the end of the stream. Probably nothing else down here. Oh, no, we got a place. All right, sweet. More discovery. Come on, that was a face shot. You gotta give me credit for it. Woo, two. Surprise. Uh, don't even act like you're invited to this party, Bloatfly. No, come on. Not even a challenge. Ah, <gasps> oh, damn it, I blew it. I was really close. I need to work on my 360s. There we go. Not bad. Oh, come on, if I could at least hit the shot. Boom. All right, 65 small guns. The Ness, uh, I know it's kind of a cringe perk to take, but I'm taking here and now so we can immediately get another level while we're on this island, since there's not a lot of XP opportunities for us to get. Woo, 75? An immediate 20. Uh, with the finesse perk, you have a higher chance to score a critical hit on an opponent in combat. Finesse is always really good, so we'll just go right and take finesse. We just got a massive buff to our character, like a switch. Oh, Monkey, thank you very much for the 100 bits. I will represent. Go Hawks. Okay, let's see if this gives us any bonus. Wait, what's our damage? It was in the 40s with this gun. Oh, that's probably because I was... Psycho. Now it does, it's in the 50s. I guess our DPS also naturally goes up by a lot by having more criticals. It's still, these guys still just eat ammo.
I want to cripple his legs, see how he moves. There we go, got his leg. Uh, it slows him down a little bit. Definitely a lot to where he's not going to get too many attacks on us. Is this something? Loose pile of dirt. What is going on? Thank you, kind sir. Okay, one. My heart been getting the fleece this week, but I got that eight month juve sub juve dagath dance. Your heart got fleeced this week? I'm sorry, Koopaling. Thank you very much, though, for the prime. I appreciate it. Yeah, I have no clue what these things do, but I'm going to dig all of them out. Look at this animation. It's always so fun. Uh, just seeing like a weird animation like that. Never seen that. Dove Delta. Dove Delta. Does it mean like a Delta of dubs? Delta being a water thing? What is a Delta? Hey, oh, we got something. Pre war money, shotgun shells, and ammo. Pretty much just cash. That one's already been opened. Ah, here we go. Four Oswaldo. Oswaldo, the footlocker is buried on the island with a single tree in the Dove Delta. Be careful, I peppered the area with a bunch of fake mounds just in case the Hughes gang finds this location. Regards, Benny. Okay, island with a single tree, we dug in, we found the Foot Locker. I think that's probably all there is there. Oh, we can't go this way. No, we're blocked. I was all excited to keep exploring. Love the pre-war cash though. Good amount of caps. Yeah, we're hitting our limits over here. More punga. Must have the punga. All right, Haley, I'm coming back. I bet if we go into Haley's store, Wait for 24 hours. Wait a couple days while in here. Del oh, Delta, it's a shitty airline. That is true. I think I've flown Delta once. I don't remember it being too bad, though. The white picket fence of no return. Your journey has ended. Oop, hold on, my sister texted me. What'd she say? Uh, no. She did not have anything super important to say. Sorry, sis. Not more important than talking to Haley of Haley's Hardware. The key thing and the key takeaway from this mod is that Haley at Haley's Hardware is more important than life itself. A river delta, it's... Oh, a delta is where a river joins. Okay, it's like a wetlands. That's kind of this whole map. Welcome back to Haley's Hardware. I got all sorts of stuff. Take a look. 505 millimeter rounds? Something tells me I won't need those. 600 BBs. These guys are just handing out BB rounds. Why is he buying it for so much? 
Haley, I love you, but that doesn't seem like a smart business decision in the apocalypse. All right, even after selling all that, I'm only coming away with a few caps. 44 Magnum, I'm not really using. 32 rounds, I'm not really using. Keep all that. I want to keep all my explosives. I don't know why. I just want to collect them and make a giant explosion. It'll probably be underwhelming. I ain't met the gun I couldn't fix. Oh, the Chinese assault rifle does. I got all. It does sorts break pretty quickly. Take a look. Uh, that was an expensive trip, Haley. I came out down there. Where are we at with Stimpaks? We should be we should be past where we started with. Oh my God! I'm only at 36. That's about what I started this stream with. I've already ran through all of them. I bet we'll get an enemy spawn right here. Hop. Told you. Oh, come on now. Got you now. 75. Okay, I want to find more of these guys. They're easy and they give as much XP as the big guys. I don't want to fight the big guys anymore. They stink. Seriously, not a fan of those guys. Am I winning? I am winning. I don't think I got everything valuable out of here. Baseball, fishing pole, nah. I mean, am I gonna be that desperate to just start collecting all the fishing poles for cash? All right. Not going back there. Oh, hold on. Unmarked location or unfound location. All right, so even the swamp ghouls go down now in one shot. We don't even need a headshot on them anymore. Just because I'm stubborn and out of spite, I would love to one shot one of the big guys. I don't think it's going to be possible even if I'm max level and I have all the perks I need, all the upgrades to small guns, but I would love to. Smugglers? Yeah, this uh, little graveyard is a smuggler spawn. There's a ton of them, too. That was a horrible shot. That was a good shot. Come on, guys, back off. Let me just... Hey, well, one, one at a time. Get in line. Shit. Let me kill this one in back. Got him. There we go. Okay, now you two can have your turn. All right? You son of a... There you are. Got you. Finally. Die. How do I... I hate this gun. Dead. Oh. Dead. Oh. Oh. I fucking hate it.
hate this thing. Why am I using it? Switch. That easy. I just got to shoot him in the head. Just aim for the head. Nice and easy. Not too bad. Another day, another stream. We have streamed a lot this week. I'm very happy, too. It gets me caught up. I, I'm always fighting this weird battle of trying not to have too much footage in my backlog to edit, like the Solstheim footage that I am starting on. I am starting on the Solstheim footage. But it is nice. It's a blessing and a curse. Because the further away I get from these streams without finishing the actual video, the more disconnected I become from the footage. It makes it harder to write. Okay, what did we not discover over here? This is probably where that arena is. Don't think I've discovered it. If this quest, the arena one, has me fighting a ton of the big guys with the axes, it's going to be a nightmare. How the f how do they see me? They see me so early. My stealth skill isn't even bad. It's like 30, 40? What is my stealth at? 30. Sneak? Yeah, it's at 40, even with debuffs. Don't you dare. Don't you dare get behind cover. Must be right there. I think the wildlife being Mirelurks is kind of a bummer because they're just taken from the base game. But they are a little bit satisfying to fight okay coastal grotto i've had this place marked on my map for a while and just haven't gone there let's see oh reaper no worries there's no need to stick around the whole time That's what the VOD channel's for, so you can leave it on and running while you go to run errands. Ooh. Oh, you have a really nice bed. And a gnome. And free explosives. Plix Journal. This journal contains a number of observations and insights specific to hunting and fighting ghouls. You have learned to exploit the specific weakness of ghouls, gaining a plus five damage bonus when attacking one. That's actually huge. I mean, the ghouls aren't too hard to fight. But maybe I'll run into a lot in here. Right up. All right, Plick. This is the only character with a similar name to the main character of Bugs Life. Flick. If anybody remembers that movie. Welcome. Welcome to my extraordinary safari. Shall we get you registered? Uh, let's do it. I'm in. Whatever it is, I'm in. It's like the last piece of content I haven't gotten to in this DLC, so I kind of have to. Only the finest bit of sport you've ever enjoyed. Once we review the rules and see to a nominal thousand caps registration fee, of course. A thousand? I mean, I have a decent amount of caps on me, but... I don't think I'm getting out of this. That's the spirit, Let's just do sir. it. We'll go right the in. The participants are waiting. So just press the button inside to let me know when to begin. That was a weird period of movies, Nona. Where, yeah, there were like an unnecessary. There was, well, the only two I can think of are Bugs Life and Ants. Ants was like the edgy alternative to Bugs Life, where Bugs Life was Pixar. 
Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to kill a lot of ghouls in here. I should have loaded up on ammo before I came here. This is going to be frustrating, isn't it? Warmest regards. Mr. Flick's really outdone himself this time. So you're number three. Well, let's get this thing going. No, I'm number one. I'm number one. Oh, yeah, okay, it's really starting. I want to try and get out of here with as much XP as I can. Kill. Oh, hello, hi. That was sweet. <laughs> that was awesome. Let's go. Jet. I gotta steal the kills before they can get them. I need all the XP from here. I missed that one. I can't miss that many of them. Like a calculated assassin. I can't believe I've had a thousand caps for this nonsense. No Can I steal this from him? Damn, I missed. My god, they just keep coming. We are just stacking bodies. Hold on, hold on, hold out, boys. I'm coming to save the day. I don't remember your names. Number two and number three, but I got gotcha. you. Get XP? Warmest regards. That can't be it. I paid a thousand caps for that. Blue pass. Wait, hold on. The pass card. Blue pass card. Maybe I'm thinking of the forest when I played it the other day. Because I know I needed pass cards in that game. But is there a place I can use it somewhere on the island? Warmest regards. James and the Giant Peach, I remember that movie. That was my entire childhood at one point. I would rewatch James and the Giant Peach a lot as a kid. Super creative art style. Maybe that's what did it. Although I don't think as a kid I was thinking of art style at the time. All right, I am not getting my investment back at all. Mr. Flick's really outdone himself this time. Tremendous showing! I do hope the experience was worth every cap. Let's commemorate you, your sir. first safari with a token of our friendship, shall we? This axe was uh, misplaced.
by one of my other patrons. She won't be needing it anymore. And it's a weapon of gruesome distinction. Enjoy it. I mean, if we can do that again, I won't mind. Your enthusiasm is flattering, but I'll need time to round up more fodder. Could I trouble you to return in a day or two? Okay. All right, I mean, how, how good is this axe? Let's see. What do we get? The Dismemberer. 37 damage. Uh, it's honestly not that good. <laughs> it's not that good. But I don't care. We got a unique reward. So if it costs me a thousand caps every single time, that's a tough pill to swallow. I don't even know how much XP I came out of there with. How much do I need to level up? Just under a thousand. I need 900 XP to level up again. But now I have no more quest chunks of XP I can get. I probably should have saved here and now, shouldn't I? Between paying a thousand caps to run that again, where the highest XP I get per enemy is 22, repairing all of my weapons and buying ammo, it's actually going to be a really tough balance. If I put the difficulty back down, it would be much easier because I wouldn't be wasting as much ammo on the locals. But we are starting to run this place dry a little bit. Ooh. You know where there's a lot of money just sitting for me to take? I need to go back to it real quick. Let me get these pungas. All the punga your heart can desire. How good is the Punga? HP plus 10? It's not very good. It's like one sixth of a stim pack. <gasps> oh, we got something. Mole rat? I don't think I've seen a mole rat this whole time. It's nice to feel powerful for once. Finally, I have an edge on one enemy. Did I kill Desmond? I did not kill Desmond, although I think at this point I probably can go back and kill him. I'm not going to lose out on anything if I go take him out. Plus, he was rude to me. Also, uh, bro, Memento, I don't think I missed it, but thank you again for the prime. Half a year. Thank you. When an enemy is killed by this weapon, by the axe, I assume you're talking about, there's an 80% chance to sever all of their limbs, as well as restoring five action points. That's actually kind of funny. If it cuts off all their limbs, 80% chance? Hey, just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls, and you'll never guess who it was. As a totally unrelated hint, I'm in charge of his boat now. What? It was Tobar? Get the... Uh-uh. No. Is that what you guys all meant when I said that Tobar is a nice guy and people were like, I don't think he's a nice guy. No, there's no way. Yeah, looks like it. When the tribals would send someone to the swamp, he'd be waiting around to nab them when the Pungaseeds gassed him. He'd do his amateur surgery for the tribals and let us wander back, all in exchange for punga fruit to trade. <laughs> Sweet little deal he had going on. Anyway, I figured you'd want a shot at some revenge, so I put him under citizen's arrest. Oh, so hell yeah, Tobar. Are you kidding me? Yeah, he seemed nice enough, didn't he? 
I can't believe this. I wouldn't this. have figured it out if I hadn't snuck into his engine room while waiting for you. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out, and he had quite a collection. You can take a look if your stomach's up to it. And while you're in there, feel free to give Tobar my love. Preferably with the sharp end of a hot knife. Yeah, Nadine, you're, or, or Nadine, you're kind of crazy. First off, crazy I'm in a good way. This boat. I put Tobar down, so it's mine. Them's the rules of the ocean. Technically, so you didn't. With a boat, a I will. Hunga, and a wicked scar. Damn, if I haven't earned that adventure I came out looking for. What scar? Your scar's gone. Overrunning this ship. I can travel as I like and always head back to the wasteland to see mom. Not a bad way to live, huh? Right, the mom that I never got to talk to. Ride for free. Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. All right, let's take this bastard out. Tobar, you son of a bitch. I can't believe I liked Tobar the whole time. This is the biggest betrayal I've ever faced. Well, if it isn't my favorite traveler, and oh, what a trip you were on. Why, when you were under, you should have heard some of the things that came out of your mouth. But I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head, aren't you? This guy better have some good stuff to say. You're a dead man, you son of a bitch. Now, I want to know why he did this. Why do we do anything? You travel the world, kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on. I'm much the same. The only difference is that my trophies are somewhat more medical in nature. Oh, and to be honest, I probably kill fewer people than you do. Hey, but whoa, 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 hold on. I don't kill end. people, okay? You can't call the swamp things that. Wait, Look what wait, why are we doing head this? Head I didn't want to fight you. Yeah! I would have let you go if you at least oh. gave me a good answer. D damn it, Tobar, I... I didn't want to do you in. I kind of liked you, uh... Which one of these is mine? They're indestructible too. It's the holy shit, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three
kind of do want to take out Nadine. She's too crazy to be running the ferry. If I'm going to run this island, I need somebody responsible running the boat, like me. She's unconscious. Yeah, she's essential. I was going to say, they need to keep her alive so you can ferry back. Did I help Kenny and his bear or fix the lighthouse? I did both. Yeah, we helped Kenny out really early. I think that was one of the first things we did. It's just weird how dead this town is. Like, they don't even have wandering NPCs at all. Like in Megaton, there's a couple NPCs wandering around. In this town, it's one lady and a Protectron. I mean, we can count all the NPCs thank that are alive on one hand. Shield wide. T-Bone, thank you very much for the tier one. I appreciate that. So what we could do, or not what we could do, but if you think about it, we have Mad Empanada, one, she's still alive. Haley at Haley's Hardware, two, that's two NPCs that are just regular folks. Marguerite, three. Marguerite is still alive at her shack. Uh, is there somebody at the grower's shack? Oh, fuck. Jeez, this is a big group. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, this is bad. I'm going to take a ton of damage here. Whoo! One, two, three, four, five of them all at once. We got to just go one at a time. Jesus. Oh, God, this is miserable. I only have 21 shots. Should have filled up on ammo. Oh. All right, two down. Oh. I mean, that guy back there does such an insane amount of damage, it feels unfair. Scrapper's not bad. You give Scrapper some drugs, though, and he's unkillable. Come on. Oh, don't run away, you little douche. I think there's two of these. Creeper? Yeah, there's two creepers at once. That's why I'm taking so much damage. Don't have a lot of ammo with this bad boy either. There we go. One down. Combat shotgun. That might be pretty good. Look at that damage. This gun is so good. Come on. There we go. Got him. After 25 stim packs. Is that another creeper? Scrapper? It's just two scrappers. Oh. Oh. This guy's annoying me. Vance cost is way cheaper with this thing too.
Oh my god, I think I might be out. Am I out of stim packs? I used every single stim pack. I'm out. Oh no. I mean, I found a lot of different drugs. I can sell some of the hunting rifles for sure. Buff out Psycho, that's pretty good. That guy's just like your uncle? Your uncle's really effective in combat? Like, surprisingly effective? Alright, I mean, we're out of stim packs. That's bad. But on the bright side, I did get a ton of XP there. I think we had to kill, like, seven of them. So in order to level up, we need... 400. Yeah, we cut our entire XP needed in half. All I wanted to do was check if there's an NPC that lives in this house. That's it. That's all I wanted to do. Instead, I lost every single stim pack. And I was going to say, I don't think anyone lives in here. They just have Punga and Moonshine. Probably more Punga. I like these fully animated cabinets. They're kind of unsettling in a weird way. Ah! God damn! Holy shit, that got me good. Woo! Ooh, we're all right. We're all right. I knew there was one in there, too. I just did not see him at all. That <laughs> was a good scare. All right. All right. All right. I'll give you credit. You scared me. Congratulations. Okay. Anyway. There are three NPCs that are alive. We killed this guy, the cultist, so he's dead. She was killed in that quest, so she's gone. Nadine? Mad Empanada, Haley, Marguerite is four, Desmond is five, uh, Desmond is down here, Desmond is five. We can go back and talk to the tribals, so six, seven, eight. We can go to the Coastal Grotto, nine. So there's roughly ten NPCs that are alive that we can talk to. Did I go into the basement? The basement of which one? Where I'm at? Uh, I did not notice that there was a basement here. Or are you talking about the basement of the house with the, what's his face? Not seeing a basement door anywhere in here. Could be around the back of the house. No, I haven't been down here. Let's check it. Oh, there's a little shed. Maybe this is what you're talking about. Look at all this punga. Okay, I can't carry that much. I'm going to be over encumbered. I have to go sell off. Oh, it's because of all this leather armor. Or can I not go in here? Let's check the other side of the house. Like a bunker. I'm not seeing anything.
Maybe you're thinking of Black Hall when we found the cultist. Rundown shack and then the bog. I wonder if I go back to the bog if I can take out a bunch of those enemies again. That'd certainly help with getting another level up. Welcome back to Haley's Hall. That's what I'm here for. Probably gonna have to sell this biogas canister at some point. Double barrel shotgun, I'm breaking up with you. Combat shotgun is my new best friend. Dismemberer, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm not gonna use it a lot. Ooh, shotgun shells are... Ew, they cost three? I'll buy them because I need them. I gotta survive out here. I have to fight this swamp economy. It's starting to attack me. It's fighting back. Here, have some human meat, Haley. Wait, I can actually give him the riverboat ticket? It's 170? Sure. He doesn't realize that the uh, value has probably changed on riverboat tickets. Oh, you know what? I That's what I'm here for. I need stim packs. He does not have any stim packs. I'm not going to be able to fight those swamp people. If I run into him again, I'm screwed. she gone? Did she go to bed? Is she not working? Where the hell does she go? I wonder if she has a house. Mad empanada. You tried to pause it? <laughs> or pause, pause the game or pause the stream? I think you can pause the stream. But no, not the game. Oh god, I thought you were Mad Empanada. I appreciate your contributions to the fight, Mr. Robot. What's she doing over here? Does she- Okay, so- Whoa, she almost died! Did you have to fight off bandits? Oh, it is good- all of Madame Panada's wares are top quality. I need your drugs. And thank you very much in advance. I won't need Mesmatron. Okay, we have a little emergency fund of stim packs. Not as many as I'd want, though. Where's her house? Where does she live? What was she doing over here? She walked from over. Does she live on the Ferris wheel itself? Maybe she just spins around all night. I took out these smugglers. They weren't her. What are you hiding from me, Mad Empanada? Maybe one of these little shacks. Nothing, nothing. That is weird. Yeah, Mad Empanada. Well, she's Madam Panada. Or Mad Empanada. There's some friendly NPC here. What? 
Can I go in here? It's showing up on my radar as this friendly NPC. Hey, what the hell are you? What is in there? Hold, hold on, wait, what is that? I want to go find it. It's on my radar. There's got to be a way we can get to it. It's probably cut content. We're finding secrets now. I think I was just on this side of the building. There's nothing over here. It was where I saw two mole rats. Is there a wall glitch for Fallout 3? How do you, how, yeah, what's the strategy to clip through walls? Is it quick save, quick load? What happened during day two? During day two, we finished the main story for Point Lookout. doesn't really seem to be working. It's not going to be like Skyrim, is it? Where I can use a plate? I'd like to try and get in there as legit as I can. Oh, in, in a corner. You're right. You're right. I forgot about corners. It does look like I had a closer time with the corner. Like I want to quick save and then whenever I quick load, you see how I'm further inside the wall? I'm trying to like quick save again and launch myself forward. Maybe right here. I feel like I'm so close. There's not that much room left. It's not like these walls are that thick, right? Because they're just invisible on the other end. We can think through this. Let's see if there's any items in the hotel that could be useful. Or maybe the sh- ooh. What about the shopping cart? Maybe we walk into the shopping cart, quick save, quick load, spam buttons, and see if it works. Right there. There's no way this works, but I want to try it. Fuck it. It's going to injure me. All right, hold on. It's too big. I feel like the shopping cart's probably too large. Oh, this is a good little spot. I want the shopping cart to push me through if it awkwardly stays here on my back. Don't think that that's going to be our strategy. It's going well, Sogurt. Trash can. 
Let's check the motel room. I mean, I feel like a book could work. Book doesn't seem like a bad one. It seems close to a plate. You know what would probably work? I got an idea. I'm going to cripple myself and see if we can use the cripple walking uh, exploit. Because I know there's ways where the game makes you faster. Also, what about the microwave emitter? The microwave emitter has been really goofy with my frames this whole time. It's just gotten kind of weird at times. And if we can fuck with the frame rate, we can alter our character's speed and they'll be a little bit faster. So maybe we can still get through here. I want to do this legit, though. God, how strong are my legs? Almost got one. We almost got one injured. I know, I know, the stim packs are going to heal my leg. Not a ton, though. I mean, it looks like I'm leaning a little bit more through the wall than before. Let's go with the microwave emitter. Damn it. It was worth a try. I don't seem to be getting a speed boost. Crouch jumping under some ledge of that house could also work. I don't remember how the cripple walking uh, glitch works. If I was able to figure that out, we might be able to pass through that wall. Let me let me search it real quick. It might only be in New Vegas, but I don't I don't see why it would be in or why it wouldn't be in Fallout 3 as well. You need a USB keyboard it involves quick loading just as your legs become crippled. Okay. So we have to quick load just as our leg becomes crippled. That should fix our leg. See if this works. I don't think that actually crippled my legs. Okay, that did not cripple my legs. How did they survive that? What the hell? I'm a tank. So you're telling me that multiple landmines placed at my feet do less damage than some random hillbilly with an axe chasing me down? Doesn't seem to be working for me right now. Give me one sec. Crippled walking animation stays. Maybe it doesn't work because I'm shooting the landmine.
Yeah, it's probably that's probably too long of a delay between those two. Because I don't think there's a cripple walking animation if you have your gun out. Yeah, I guess there is if you have your gun out. Fall damage shouldn't be too hard. You know where we can get fall damage? I know where. Take me to the lighthouse. Are we really doing all of this bullshit just to try and see one NPC that's probably not? Get out. Oh. Why are you even here at the lighthouse? I have important yet stupid shit to find out. All right, we're investigating. Why are there so many of you here? Leave me alone. It's actually aggressive how much dismemberment there is in Fallout 3. Oh my god, we're not doing this. Stop. I actually just shot his missile launcher all the way down to the ground. Alright, I'll injure my legs later. I'm killing these fuckers. Especially because I'm close to a level up still. Hey! Oh my god! How did he get his missile launcher back? I could have sworn it. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna open up the- I hate that so much about this game. Fucking drives me nuts in Fallout 3 in New Vegas. When you're reloading and you want to heal. Oh, it just drives me up a wall. Open up the pit boy. Well, there we go. Our death count for the entire DLC is now at three. This thing blows ass in vats. There were nowhere near this many people in here earlier. Please shoot that rocket. I dare you. <laughs> I can't believe there's two of them. Oh, I hate everyone in here. Do the animation. Fix the thing. Man, y'all are annoying. Did all this loot refresh? Or did I completely miss it before? Maybe I missed it before. No, nah, because I've repaired the light. Yeah, you can see it's spinning around. Okay, now let's try to cripple ourselves. I want to take this loot though, because I'm going to need to buy more stim packs. Search eyeballs, find missile launcher. It's still not worth carrying. All right, for science, let's figure this out.
That actually kills me. I could survive that fall. I don't feel faster. Am I faster? No, I'm definitely not faster. Oh, crap. I didn't do it fast enough. I don't think it's working. One more time. How about now? Oh, that's not even crippling me. I love that. If I jump on the garbage can, oh. decent amount of damage, but I'm alive. If I miss it, that one did cripple me. As long as I hit this garbage can, I live. But if I miss it, I crunch and I'm dead. Why is it not crippling me now? Swamp dive like Lara Croft? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to get it to work, sadly. Unless I am just magically running faster than I was before, but I don't think I am. I have trouble when enemies are- which enemies are nearby? Them? They weren't nearby before. Come here, buttheads. Right, we're just gonna cheat it for the first time ever in this series I shall cheat only for science also thank you Borgel for the 100 bits I've ever thought of doing a region lock of the main Boston city area in Fallout 4 uh no I don't it's not that I think that that wouldn't be fun but I just haven't really thought of doing that oh I can't open it Oh, that's the brain. Oh my God, that makes too much sense. No way. So that this is where they put the brain. When we did the quest and we were back here and the brain is talking to the player, this is how they, uh, this is how they do it. You can't talk to him. Can we kill him? Critical strike on the brain. The brain is unconscious. So it doesn't do anything. He's just hidden in here. Because for that one quest where we're walking back here to plant the little thing on the ferris wheel that's how he communicates to the player that's funny i love that shit i love finding little things like that baby carriage is still floating i don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon Give him my lump of brain so he's not alone. Hell no, I keep my lump of brain. I want to eat it if I can. Yeah, they had to put permanent stealth on him just to make sure that nobody found him. He had to be extra hidden. That's really funny. 
That was a nice surprise. I'm glad we waited to see what was actually in there. Sniper, your chance to hit an opponent's head in vats is significantly increased. Life giver is 30 points, 20% health when using stim packs. It's actually kind of good. I'll go with sniper. Vats headshots are pretty nice. Can I hit him from way back here? No. This is rough, though. If I run into swamp people, I'm toast. I, you know, I mean, that's really it. I don't think there's much content for us to go through other than coming up with a dumb goal that we can try and achieve with this current character without ever leaving Point Lookout. But there's no real new enemies for us to run into or encounters that we can find. I can, of course, try to make my character powerful enough to start one-shotting the really big swamp people. Uh, Dark, if you'd like to join the Discord, exclamation point Discord. We'd love to have you. It's a pretty nice place. People are very kind. I should be more active in it, though. A lot of times, though, when I'm working on projects, it's best for me mentally to just disconnect from everything especially nowadays usually whenever i put out a video i'll read through the initial comments for the first like couple of hours but then after that i try to just disconnect as best i can Ten thousand caps Ten thousand caps isn't a bad goal Although we'll largely be doing the exact same thing over. Oh yeah, Ruska the Carnival Bear. I just saw a TK Mantis video. I just saw a Mantis video. Like, earlier today. Where is Ruska? It's like one of the last things we haven't found. Also, have I found all the locations? I think I have. It's not a very big map. We're able to walk across it pretty easily. I'm going to go back to the sacred bog. Found, Found you. Oh, wait, I can't fight creeper. Creeper's way too good. Cancel. If I'm able to take out a creeper without healing, huge victory. Nice. See, if it's only one of them, it's not that bad. You throw two at me, then it becomes a big problem. I need to go get this shotgun repaired, though. Welcome back to Haley's Hardware. Yeah, Senok, we're free roaming right now because we've done I've all the quests. Fit. We've done pretty much everything we can. At least in terms of actual scripted content, we've Look done pretty much everything. 
Don't really need 308 rounds. 32 we don't need. 44 not using. These biogas canisters, I am going to sell them off. Thank you, kind sir. Zelikai, thank you very much for the prime. Ruska can spawn outside the map. That would be unfortunate. I'd like to meet him. No stim packs. Can I just sell him my brain? You know what, Haley? Actually, here. Haley, this is for you. I appreciate everything. You've been really nice this whole time. Incredibly motivated. I want you, Haley, to have a chunk of my brain. Right there. I'll leave it with you. Enjoy. Don't use it all at once. It's chewy. I know brain in some cultures is a delicacy. Has anybody in here ever had brain? Anybody ever just... I don't know, do they make like a like brain chips? Fried brain? Ooh, brain stir-fry. Sheep's brain? Could probably use the brain for repair. Jam it. Fill in some of the gaps. Oh, that sounds gross. A lot of brain dishes from where I'm from. Propaganda, where are you from? Head and cheese. That's right, that's right. I've heard of head cheese. In Greece. Zomtopia. Welcome back to Haley's Hardware. He's so excited. I love That's this guy. Here for. Still not selling me stim packs. You're pissing me off. I need health. Only place I can get health now is if I go to the uh, <laughs> if I go to the motel to sleep. Checking into my motel three. Sleep with a skeleton. How long do you have to sleep to heal in Fallout 3? Oh, just a quick nap. The Lone Wanderer's body will expunge all bullets that are inside of his skin just with a quick little nap. Like he's Wolverine. So no head cheese? Yeah, wait, why is that skeleton dead? He was sleeping. That should reform all of his organs and skin. Ooh, I know where I wanted to go. Sacred Bog. We haven't been here in a while. I bet all the enemies respawned. Can I just go on another acid trip just for fun? Yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. I'd like to get lobotomized again. I just do that for fun. That's what we do on weekends. Got any plans this weekend? Uh, no, nah, just doing the usual. Gonna get myself lobotomized, go on an acid trip, run through the forest naked. You know, just typical stuff. Looks like it's all the same dead enemies from before, which is disappointing. If this is just a one and done location, you can't revisit. Although it does seem that way. Really? That's a bummer. If it hasn't cleared up the dead bodies, I really doubt there's any more. Every time I say sacred bog, it makes you happy. How come? 
Am I saying it wrong? A lot of people say I say things incorrectly. Don't blame me. I'm not perfect. Nobody is. Okay, it's just a scrapper. There's more than one of them. And there's a creeper. Pours oil! What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zarabar. Thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Thank you for five gifted subs. Get around this tree for cover. We gotta be careful here, we're really low on heals. One down. Let's try and get really close to him if we can and break his rifle. Fuck, there's another one. Damn it! Oh god, he's so creepy looking. There's two. I'm posting up right here. And I'm waiting. Yes, press the offensive. Gotcha. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Nice, look at that. We actually have a good strategy now. Saves so much money. Got a stim pack, got a shotgun. The last one's a brawler. Just a melee user. But there might be a full camp of them right over here. This is actually a lot more fun. Trying to get through these encounters with these characters at unreal levels and tanky health with almost no healing this one we want to cripple his speed if we can Gotcha. Not one stim pack wasted. That might have been our best performance combat wise this whole DLC. I've been losing a lot of money the last few fights. Astro Nerd, how are you? Hello to you. My good sir or madam. Get the toy knife. Where is the toy knife? I don't think I grabbed the ritual knife either when I had a chance. I think that one was a unique. Okay, the condition of the shotgun goes down really quickly. It's kind of a liability because of that. It's so good though. Oh yeah, no, the gene pool in on this island is this. It's just this. Th this is the gene pool. This muddy, gross little... They all just get in and they swim around. Where did the women go? They're all gone. <laughs> it's... A they left them. They all got divorced and left on this island.
All right, we've explored this little spot. I mean, we've explored everything before. I think this is the edge of the map. Yep. The white picket fence of doom. I want to know what's back there. There should be an underwater cave. Where? Out here? Like an unmarked location? Evacuated muck hole. Trapper shack, cellar. All right, I'm going to go back to the trapper shack. I don't think I went to the cellar of the trapper shack. Oh, yeah, the an anchorage. Uh, if you're trying to just do a completely broken playthrough, doing the anchorage DLC early is key. I love the assault rifle model in this game. I love this gun. I'm actually so sad it hasn't appeared in any other Fallout games. The G3 assault rifle, I love it. My favorite. Probably goofballs hanging around the trapper shack. Oh, oh God, I, I didn't think that the shotgun was right in front of me. Barely even did any damage. Whoa. They don't know how to open the doors, right? Holy, what the hell is going on in here? Hold on, wait, I need the XP. Damn it, Swamp Lurk, don't take my kill. Oh, you bitch, you can't get to me through the jail. Back. I'm the warden of this jail. Everybody get back. Hey. Watch yourselves. Oh my god, look at that. That thing is huge. All right, gentlemen, are you hungry? Here, don't. Come out and kill me. I, I can't quite squeeze this through. There. You can at least get the smells of it. Ooh. Eww. Some decent loot in here. Finally do a lock. Oh, there's okay, there's a switch. This is definitely the kill all ghouls in the cage switch, right? Oh, it would have just let the big guy kill them all. Makes sense. Makes sense. Wait, hold on. I can't get in here. It's locked. I need the key. There's got to be a key upstairs, right? Got to be one, right? There's also landmines everywhere. Oh, no. Are these new? What do we have? Scrapper? Scrapper? Another scrapper, not a huge problem, but all at one time is going to be scary. Let's see if I can lose him or just get the drop on him with the stealth boy. Oh, fuck. Can I hit this? 
That's what I'm talking about, Jebediah. This is my swamp. Worth every Hmm. It's alright, this one just has a BB gun. Got him. Ninety five percent from this distance is really good. All right. I don't think I got hit once. I don't know if it was the awkward position I was in. Their pathing just couldn't find me. Either way, I needed to get out of that. We love BBs. I'm becoming one with the swamp. I'm lethal. They can't stop me. Crazy Khajiit, thank you very much for the tier one. Apologies, I missed that. I think I was in the... I think I was in the throes of combat there trying to get through it, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Hold on, there's another one in here. Gotcha. Bye bye. Like I said, my swamp. I'm taking over. Tired of taking their shit. Got to be a key somewhere in here. I want to open up that cage. Definitely been in here. I remember being in here. Maybe there's just no key. It's a little disappointing. Because I want to get into that cage, but I don't want to get my lockpick skill to level 50. That's going to be a waste of three level ups. Any more of those? We have a while to go to level 13. How much XP? 11,000. I still need 1,000 to 1250. Have I checked underneath the buoy near the camp where Marcella was at? I have not. Let's go check it out. That's Disaster Relief Outpost, right? Marcella, she- Ah! Fuck you! God, what is that? What is that? I- I fast traveled here! You can't just Malcolm Holmes yourself and fill up the whole fucking screen, okay? Not cool! Not cool! I just got here! At least give me some clearance! Um, I love this gun in Vats. It's so good. I'll take the XP, but stop scaring me. Oh, Ooh, that was brutal.
The buoy. I assume by buoy you mean boat. Is, no, Marcella is not here. Marcella's dead. We did the quest with the uh, Krev Beckna. Todd Howard cutout wasn't even a jump scare. <laughs> that was just fun. Uh, ooh, we got some floor safe. I can't open it. I'm not seeing a buoy. In the water, there should be some treasures. Yeah, but... You know. That doesn't really narrow it down. We were just over here not long ago. Oh, we're really just retreading the same places over and over now, aren't we? I guess that's kind of every single one of these region locks we do. Let's see, uh, the resting grounds? Let's see if we can get all the smugglers here to respawn. Oh, they did. They're always respawning here. What does this one gang really like about this one cemetery? I mean, they love meeting up here. Like, this is their spot. They keep sending reinforcements back to the same... I see you as well. No. It stinks in vats. Crazy how much XP they give. I need to keep trying to get the smuggler fights. If I really do want to stay on this island and level up a lot, we have to just keep activating the smuggler encounters. They're significantly easier. They take way less resources to take out than the swamp people. I'm fine with fighting the swamp people every now and then, but fighting them every single time, I'm gonna really lose resources and run out of time. Or just run out of ammo, run out of heals. I can't keep abusing Haley's hard way. I can't. I gotta play this smart. Wait, did that really just say... How does the Chinese assault rifle do 91 damage? 91? Is it really hitting for almost triple digits? That seems wrong. I don't know why that just does not seem right. So on my Borgel, I'm really excited to play Far Harbor. I love, well, I loved when I first played it. So I guess I still do love Far Harbor, but I'm really pumped to play it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Y'all here to buy something? That's It'll be fun as a for. challenge. It'll be fun because the DLC slaps.
Maybe the backwater rifle just sucks. Maybe I need to get over my obsession with it. All right, we got our stim packs back. I'm going to keep saving landmines. You can't stop me. I'm collecting them all. Screw you. I don't care about your rules. Ooh, five, five, six rounds. Y'all here to buy something? I got all sorts of stuff. Take a look. Five, five, six. Beautiful. Ten mil. Beautiful. Shotgun. I don't need shotgun shells right now. Radage, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. I can't believe we've been at it for two hours already. The Divide? Is the Divide Honest Hearts? Anarcho? Is that... Honest Hearts? Lonesome Road? Uh, that is another DLC that I still have yet to play. But I'm glad you weren't talking about Honest Hearts because... I actually really don't like Honest Hearts. I've, I've, I've played through Honest Hearts twice in the last year and did not really enjoy it either time. It's in the same it's in the same category as Mothership Zeta for me. Played through both of them, I think, twice in the last year and was not a fan either time. But I am really excited to play Lonesome Road. More smugglers. I don't know why this swamp just keeps giving me presents, but I love this. Okay. Oh, that was a good throw. That was a good throw. I'll give you that. That was a bad fight. I didn't perform up to standard there. I'm sorry, chat. But we did get about 90 XP. So you know what? I'm not apologizing. Yeah, I was not a big fan of Honest Hearts. I, I mean, I like... Uh, I like the background and kind of lore that it goes into with uh, the Legion. I think the lore is cool, but the actual DLC, it's DLC itself, I just, I don't like. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a fan of it. But that's just me. Look at all this. Wait, hold on. This is all in the map. This is a lot of water. Like, is there anything out there I can discover? I can fast travel out here. Is like, is there anything worthwhile if I head way out into the water? Like, or am I just gonna go out here and not find shit? So now that I've done point lookout, where do I rate it compared to the other DLCs? Uh, so of the ones that I've actually played all the way through, I think it would probably, even after I play all the others, I still think that Far Harbor would probably rank the best for me because it's the only DLC that's genuinely better than the base game. Uh, it's like 
It's almost like Shivering Isles in a way. Shivering Isles is... I enjoyed Shivering Isles. I, I haven't played Shivering Isles actually in a long enough time to really compare them. But I do remember as a kid thinking Shivering Isles was like way better than the base game of Oblivion. Um, Far Harbor is amazing. Um, I enjoyed... I did enjoy Point Lookout. I've enjoyed this one. It started a little bit slow, and I wasn't sure about it at first, but it's grown on me as we've played it more. Uh, I don't like Automatron. I think Automatron adds cool features. Building robots is sweet, but the actual quests I thought were dumb. Mm, I like Nuka World. Don't love it that much. I do like how it adds some like raider settlement stuff. That's cool. Dead Money is cool. I think I like Dead Money more than most people. I think it's really unique. Finally, that's the easiest fight I've had against one of these dickheads. I need to go and play the other New Vegas DLCs though. I haven't given Old World Blues like a true full playthrough. I have played quite a bit of New Vegas over the last couple months. Like I have just a save on my Xbox. There were uh, one of my good friends was having his first ever New Vegas playthrough. He got really into it and I was having so much fun replaying the game alongside him. And I just got into the DLCs. So I knocked out Honest Hearts. The next one I want to do is Dead Money. Then I want to do Old World Blues. And then I want to do... Um, Lonesome Road. Old World Blues I've played and actually played a decent amount of, you know, like a lot of overworld shooting the enemies and whatnot. And I was really enjoying it. I think when all, said and, when all is said and done and I finish it, it would probably be Old World Blues and Far Harbor that are my favorites. Uh, the Pit is also very good. I think The Pit is the best Fallout 3 DLC. But again... That's kind of me just going off of what my brain tells me. And, you know, when I played it a really long time ago, I haven't played it in a long time. I'd love to play it again. There's not a lot of them that I dislike. The only ones that I, like, dislike, dislike are Mothership Zeta and the Honest Hearts. I don't really hate any of the others. None of the others are unenjoyable for me to play. And, like, I'm not going to count... Voltec Workshop or Gunrunner's Arsenal. Although I guess Gunrunner's Arsenal is pretty good. Oh my god, this gun is broken. Hold on, wait, this gun is broken. It does so much damage. Fuck's sake, just fucking die. Thank you. I appreciate your contribution to my XP and my loot, but you guys took a lot of my healing items from me, and that upsets me. Now they're hotkeyed again. If you want an idea for Fallout 4, check out many a true nerds video called The Great Sunken Treasure. He did a video that was pseudo region locked to the rivers in Fallout 4. Really? When did he do that? I know many a true nerd, and I didn't find this out until I had been doing the region lock thing for a little bit. Uh, he had a series on Good Springs. Sorry, not Good Springs. Sanctuary. Okay, we got more of them up here. 
already on caution. What is what is with these backwater backwoods? Uh, Billy Bob, whatever the hell they are, mutants and their sense awareness. Like it's heavily implied that they, that these guys do a shitload of drugs and are drinking a ton of booze. Yet they have the sense of like a dog. They can smell me. They're like an eagle. Oh my god, finesse is such a good perk. Finesse is making so many of these engagements easier, though. Gotcha. Ooh, no. There we go. Cigarettes. More BBs. The guys who keep dropping BBs, <laughs> I don't think they realize what a fortune they're all sitting on. If all the swamp people gathered up and collectively threw their BB pellets into a pile, they'd be rich. They could buy the mansion that exploded earlier. We're back at the trapper shack. This place is already cleared. I want to go see Haley. We're almost level 13. Welcome back to Haley's, Haley's Hardware. Hardware. Look around. It's all here. Oh, crap. Hold on. We need him to refresh. True story, my best game of bowling ever was after consuming several margaritas and letting others drive me there and home. All right, yeah, maybe you guys are right. Because when you're hammered, there's a different, uh, <laughs> there's a different awareness. The damage buff. Yeah, the damage buff might be meth. Well, isn't Psycho? No, Jet. Jet is definitely the meth equivalent in Fallout, right? That's always the vibe I've gotten. Psycho is. A Psycho might be meth, actually. Because if you think about it, a damage buff. Meth is an amphetamine. Uh, new people mean new business, so I'm always happy to see y'all. What do you mean new people? There are 10 people Good on this island. Alive, <laughs> There's nobody here. That's why he calls us y'all. He's trying to fill in for the imaginary people that aren't visiting his store. Look around. It's all here. 506 BBs. I'm running. <laughs> I have an empire on BBs. Should I just see how many BBs I can collect? That's what I, you know, I'm going to keep holding on to the BBs. They'll be my insurance policy if I need to make a ton of money quickly. But I'm holding on to the BBs from now on. I want to just see how many I can get. God, the combat shotgun is. It breaks so quickly, but it's so good. What did I just sell? All right, uh, nothing. The swamp people do drop good loot. The drugs are good. I don't want to start selling them all because I'm addicted to them all. Give me some 556. Five, Give me all your 556, five, baby. I want to load up this Chinese assault rifle because it is doing damage. Numbers. 
I ain't met the gun I couldn't fix. Don't need much repair. I'll save up my caps and repair later. Almost 500 rounds now with the Chinese assault rifle. All right, we waited in there for two days. I wonder if the spawn over here has refreshed by the ritual house. No, it doesn't look like it did. Yes, it did. Okay. They just wanted to jump scare me again. Make it sound like you're the victim here. Okay, you attacked me. Swamp people, they're so full of themselves. We only got one, so I doubt the campsite right over here over the hill is gonna refresh. Uh, actually it did. Yeah, I can see them all. So let's do our best to sneak up and try as best as we did to make use of a stealth boy for once. We're going to be close to leveling up after this fight. Ooh, and before we get in there, let's go Psycho, Medex, Buff Out. The big three that we're addicted to. Why did he sound like a squealing pig? Uh, he was imitating the last thing he fucked. One shot. Almost two shots. Okay, was he? Why was he Naruto running at me? Did, when did they all become anime fans? <laughs> My favorite shonen anime was that show about the two giant swamp people chasing the invisible adventurer throughout the swamp. You know, when you think about it, all of my challenges are kind of like an isekai. Crippled yet? There we go. We got his leg. Let's get the other guy's leg. They comment on the exact body parts that have been crippled way uh, way more often than other NPCs. Oh, oh, I can't tell which one of you was uglier. I'm going to go with this one because at least the other one was kind enough to wear makeup before this date. Not that wearing makeup is necessary. It's important that you're comfortable more than anything if you go on a date. I mean, look at me. I have a beard. That's my makeup. <laughs> that's, that's how I cover up my, uh, the rest of my face. Given how many healing items I had to use the last time I did this fight, that went so smooth. Uh, Fallout God, we're on very hard. We ended up, we moved it up to very hard by the time we were around level seven, I think. Because it started getting a bit too easy. And I wanted the XP boost. 
Only problem is I forgot where they're all at. There's one more. Oh, we got them. They do. They got good drugs. They got good booze. They got it all down here. Alright, if I go back to Haley. Uh, actually, let's check the lighthouse. There's probably more gangsters. Yep. Okay, we're starting to get in a really good loot now. Or a really good loop. There's gonna be a couple in here that have missile launchers. Remember, children, say no to withdrawal. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have used my stealth boy in here. It's all awkward firing angles. I guess that works. Hello, anybody up there? You really didn't notice that. <clears throat> Not ideal. Here come the rockets. Get out of my way. Press the offensive. Ha! Huh, they're gonna shoot each other with rockets. But oh, wait, that's gonna take my XP. That was a good shot. Ha ha ha, gotcha! Say goodbye to your rocket launcher. Sucker. Ooh. Why am I having so much more fun now? Life giver is decent. Cannibal. I don't really feel like doing cannibal. I feel like I always take cannibal. I'm going to go intense training to offset the withdrawal. We'll take intelligence, slight XP buff. It's actually not a bad call. I think I meant to take intelligence before. All right, we're, we're getting in the groove. In terms of grinding, we are... I don't want to say we're officially there yet, but we're kind of getting in the groove. Noodles, thank you very much for stopping by. We'll catch you around. Do I mod Skyrim at all? I actually just learned, or, or have started learning a little bit. It's hard to balance it in my free time, because if I am trying to make mods, it almost feels like work in a way, but I have had a little bit of fun with it. I made a mod the other day called Wumbo. And Wumbo is a spell that when you cast it and it hits someone, they just become giant. That's all. That's the mod. And learning spells has been a good way. Hold on. Spells have been a pretty good way to learn the logic of the game because you can inject papyrus grips into spells fairly easily. So it's been a good kind of starting place for me to learn papyrus and kind of just learn the creation engine a little bit. Because especially for when Starfield comes out, it's really important that I get my hands on uh, the creation engine a little bit more. Because when Starfield does come out and assuming we get the creation kit like all their other games. I would like to 
make some things for Starfield to make the content more fun, to make the different challenges we do more interesting and stupid. I don't know why I'm enjoying this so much. Like this epilogue of just wasting every enemy on the map now. It's really satisfying on very hard. Feels like we had to kind of climb a mountain in order to get here. Learn a little bit more about the enemies so that we could start really crushing them in combat. It feels like I'm taking revenge on this swamp for giving me trouble. Stepping on through Lemonon. If you are unfamiliar with what we're doing, have you watched uh, my YouTube channel before? We're doing any anything kind of like the regular old region lock challenges we do on the channel. This one's a bit different though. At the point we're in right now, we've Welcome completed all the we've completed all the main content of the DLC. That's what I'm here for. And really, right now, I'm running around hitting repeatable locations as best I can. Trying to make money, trying to level up as many times as I can, just without leaving this island. A small magic mod pack? Maybe. If I have any more spell ideas than Wumbo. New people mean new business. Free the Wumbo. You want me to post a Wumbo on the Nexus? Will anybody download it if I post Wumbo? So I'm always happy to see y'all. Good to see y'all alive. Look around, it's all here. I wonder if I refresh his inventory if I can go do those same engagements I just did. Is Wumbo a Spongebob reference? Yeah, absolutely. A mod that is a region lock. I want a mod that just deletes all other content in the game other than one location. Just get rid of it. I also can do repairs if and you need it. I'm aware. Do you know how many times I've had you repair my stuff? Okay. I made you an expert repairman. Don't forget the service I did for you, Haley. I made you invaluable to the people of the swamp. <laughs> right, I'm inve I'm investing in the only existing small business in the swamp. All here to buy something? Look around, it's all here. I'm kind of bummed I didn't get any BBs though. I'd like to keep collecting BBs. Don't ask me why I want to collect BBs, I just do. It's fun to see number get bigger. Psycho... keep all that. I have 20 medics. I ain't met the gun I couldn't fix. Keep our stuff repaired. Look around, it's all here. Gave him a good amount of cash there. I'm still negative on this deal. Am I, I'm not using energy cells.
Wait. Wait. Sorry. I'm coming back, Haley. All here to buy something? Look around. It's all here. Because I want to also buy five, five, six rounds. While I'm here, if he has it, I'm going to buy all his stim packs again. The 700? Ooh. I don't have a lot else to sell. I might just have to take a loss on this trade. Eight missiles. Never mind. I'm still taking a loss, but not nearly as bad. 2,700 caps. That's good by me. Now, I wonder if we stay there. Let's just, let's just stay here for one more day and test it. Because I think we only stayed here for two days instead of three. I'm going to wait here for one more day. And then I want to go back to the exact same places where we ran into the swamp people. Because I want to test the logic of this. Like, do I just have to come to Haley's place, go inside, wait for three days, and then everything refreshes on the outside? Because if that's true, we're going to have a much easier time running this loop. Because we'll be able to get the smugglers. Smugglers are easy loot, easy XP. Fresh kills. Nice and quick. Let's go back to the motel and sleep. Take a free heal. I guess I could just spend my stim packs right now, but... I am in the stockpiling wealth phase of this run. Put myself in game? Hey, hey, if I put myself in game, I'm not putting myself in as a stealth archer, okay? All right. I am not a stealth archer. Said it a million times. Somebody actually suggested on the VOD channel, and I don't hate this idea, but they were like, oh my god, they do respawn. Although not all of them were here last time. One of them's really close to me, I think. No? Thought I saw movement. Okay, Scrapper is using a baseball bat, not worried about him. 61, 47. Nice, we almost got him taken out. Out of the way. There we go, one down. They're still doing crazy damage on me, though. I'm not worried about you, Scrapper. You have a little... Get... Okay, get your twig out of my face. I think I accidentally sold the wrong combat shotgun. Yeah, I have to retag it. There. Screw your baseball bat. Get out of my get out of my way. Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta break their guns. Okay, I'm. Oh my god, I actually blew it. God damn it. I got too cute. I tried to play it too smart. Okay, but they do refresh over here. It would be nice if I had a fat man. All right, I'm running out of stealth, boys, but I am going to keep using them. You have yet to play stealth archer. Stealth archer is fun. Like there's a the reason it's kind of a meme is because it's really fun. Archery is super satisfying in Skyrim. Anyone just see that shot magically track to his? Ooh. That's a lot of red dots. Create distance. Let's thin the herd as best we can. Psycho medics buff out. Put our big three on. Literally my swamp. It's crazy. They're so accurate. Like, insane accuracy. Fuck.
fuck off. Like, what the f- <laughs> I want to know what their gun skill is. Deep down, they have to have max level gun skill. Alright, so long as we disarm them, then it's easier. I use the trees to cover oh. myself. I got so. Break his stupid gun. Oh. Where does he keep getting more guns? Three percent. Oh my god, now they're behind me. Oh. Okay, we got him. <laughs> we at least disarmed these two. I'm getting kind of good at just shooting their gun. Okay. All right. A little bit hectic. That's a tough battle. Made it out with some decent XP. Although I'd rather just take on the scrappers or not the sc 10? 10 grenades. You just made my day. I love you, scrapper. Never mind. That fight was completely worth it. 10 grenades and he had the courtesy to not throw a single one at me. My new favorite. I had to run really far away from where that fight started. That was your fresh brain, brish, <laughs> brain dish for dinner. Thank you for the 100 bits, Borgle. Do I have grenades? I do not have grenades. Although, I guess I just found 10 more. So that fight hadn't refreshed before we last ran back here. I want to check if this one does. And I don't want to fast travel here to get immediately jumped because it's bad for business. Okay, it looks like it has not refreshed. Let's try the cemetery again. I bet the ghouls right out front of here have respawned. We haven't fought them in a while. No, it's smugglers. Oh, my new victims. Welcome, Mr. Smuggler, to my island. Classic. Classic. I miss every single shot. Ah. That is such a good perk. Sniper? Sniper and finesse in tandem are very good together. Oh! Does she have a rocket oh. launcher? 
Oh my god. Plasma grenades. Where the hell do you get off using those? No. Banned from the island. Super sledge? What is going on with the smugglers? I keep killing off their ranks. They keep coming back to this exact same place. But now they're bringing super sledges. Their funding has been increased. Leave my tribal friends alone. No! I didn't go on a weird acid trip for no reason, okay? We're all in the same boat here. I will defend my people with my dying breaths. Breaths. This looks like something here. What is this? An awkwardly short gazebo? Move over, skeleton. Or don't. Either way, I'm sleeping with you. Uh, let's see if we get the jump scare encounter at Disaster Relief again. Oh, we do! It's kind of crazy how we're predicting this now. Without flaw. Or without much flaw. video is so getting age restricted there's just no way i'm gonna be able to cut out that much gore and the way i like to do a lot of my action sequences in my videos like how am i not going to use multiple heads exploding on the downbeats of a fun song I, how it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be one of my videos if i don't do that I'm just gonna have to go for it screw it make a video ask questions later All right, as long as it goes through the first week without getting hit, did I find the clan plot? The clan plot. Oh, the clan plot. I thought you were saying like a plot of land. I'm not sure what you mean by the clan plot. Which named characters are involved in this so-called plot? Uh, there's a couple of shacks out in the swamps that have a lot of spawns. The cemetery plot? Is there a mod to remove the gore? I tried to do it. Wasn't able to. Couldn't figure it out. It's not a big deal. Ah, creeper. I just have to close the gap. Ooh, he had a little issue repairing it. Reloading it, same thing. That's right, run away. Run away, bitch. Get out of my swamp. Wait, what do you, where the hell do you keep finding weapons? So sick of these guys. The amount of damage one of them just did is nuts. What's better, Morrowind Stallroom or Skyrim Stallroom visually? I'll have to see the Morrowind one. 
doesn't ring a bell visually off the top of my head, but I do really, really like uh, Starrim in Skyrim. I think it looks sweet. All right, we've got two melee bozos here. Shouldn't be much of a problem. He really ran all the way over there to grab that shotgun. I hate you. Uh. Two more. Ooh, big boy. Uh, they're both going to do really good damage. Four stim packs left. you out of stim packs don't you go for it Back off! Oh, close call. Okay, maybe it's not completely my swamp yet. Those last two big fights were brutal. I went through almost 20 stim packs. But I'm alive, and they aren't. So you know what? That's a win for me. We're only halfway to level 14. Now it's a grind. You wish Elder Scrolls of Fallout series had a transmog option? I actually disagree. I think uh, you bear the stats of whatever you're wearing. You want to look cool? Look cool. But if it's going to cost you some stats, that's what you chose, my friend. I don't know what I'm looking for. I know we'll get jumped again if we go trappers. Oh, I probably want to house of wares. Hey. Oh my God, yeah. stop attacking her. <laughs> what? Hey. Madam Panada, I'll save you. Glad Damn, I over. got here. Oh my God, she's almost There's dead. No good merchandise, no? Oh, We're going to lose Madam Banana. All of Madam Panada's wares are top quality. Why are 32 pistols such a money maker? They sell for a lot. Also, I'm not finding any BBs. I'm I'm getting a bit frustrated with my swamp friends. They're not holding up their end of the bargain.
Nice. I'm still coming out of here profiting. Let's try... You know what? I'm going to go to the Calvert Mansion. A, there's ghouls over here. B, I want to check out this bunker one more time. Are there no Fat Man launcher spawns on the island? I don't know. There might not be. I haven't seen any. There's been a lot of mini nukes. Although those are probably limited spawns, so I'm probably not going to find many anymore. Yeah, I'm just taking all that. Oh, we just did the lighthouse recently. That won't be a thing. Okay, never mind. It's just smugglers. What gang are these smugglers affiliated with? I want to speak to their leader. He's doing a really bad job. Like, he just keeps sending his people to get killed. Ooh, 10 millimeter sub, that'll sell for a good amount. That's the first 10 mil sub we've found. There's a big boy. 75 XP. Ooh, I can taste it. No way I can hit from here. 28%? Come on. Never tell me the odds. Both in a row? Somebody do the math. What's 0.28 times 0.28? Those were our odds of hitting both. That's right. I took a statistics class once. Nice and easy. I love when they make it easy. It's very satisfying. It's enraging when it takes a while. 0 0.07. So there was a 0.07% chance of both shots hitting. Although if you think about it, the percentage might have gone up on the second shot, but it wouldn't have told us because he would have ran and gotten a little bit closer to us. So odds are the second shot had a better chance of hitting. Lil Tyke Playhouse. Why do I not remember this? Let's fast travel and see if we're in a battle. We are absolutely screwed. Scrapper, 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 scrapper. Okay, they're all scrapper. One gun at a time. <laughs> I just appeared out of thin air. Appeared right out of thin air and just yoink took the gun out of his hands. I'm actually John Marston. I'm Arthur Morgan. I tell you, you're all right, boy, but you're not all right. This whole population is so far from all right.
free health. Never going to say no to it. I wonder how often the Punga respawn. I don't know how I'm locking on to him from that far. Can I hit this? I want to try and hit this guy in the head from here. Oh, he moved. Barely see him. Got him. Wasn't as cool because I could see him better. <gasps> That's a BB gun. Give me. Give me your BBs. Yes, render the BB rounds unto me. I must collect all the BBs in the world. I love this gun. It's frustrating, yes, a little bit. But ooh, if it's not satisfying, just to BAM! Right in the, right in the kisser. All right, we're having a really good run here. We're certainly coming out of this positive. Not losing money on this run. We can probably hit Dove Delta. There's probably a couple enemies. Okay, maybe not. Turtle Dove? We haven't been to Turtle Dove in a while. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're all around. On the bright side, they're all ghouls. There are a lot of them, though. Oh! Oh, no. My power level hasn't increased at all. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Jesus! Oh. Why would I pay a thousand caps when I can just fast travel here? Hello, friend. Oh. That was a bloodbath. Almost no loot, but amazingly good XP. Bummer that I had to use as many 556 five, rounds as I did, but worth it. That was fun. That made me feel like a badass. Which hasn't happened too many times on this run. Still have 17 stim packs. I'll need to repair my shotgun, which is about 300 ish caps. What do you think? When I level up again, should I put all my points into barter? Or should I put them all into repair? Yeah, we probably just hit all the places. That might be our loop. We already did this spot. Let's head back to Haley's Hardware. How many times am I going to say Haley's Hardware? As many times as I need to, to get the message across that. Let me know if you need anything. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Haley's Hardware. Hardware. Love this guy so much it That's never gets I'm old. I'm sure it does get old, but I'm going to keep saying that it doesn't get old. Ten mil. Millimeter, not million.
Let's see. Five, five, six. Take that. I'm good on shotgun shells. I think I'll pretty much have unlimited of those. The swamp people are giving me a lot. Back to profiting. So I'll profit very slightly. I met the gun I couldn't fix. A combat shotgun, 250. Armor, two. Eesh. 500 for both of I those. Got all sorts of stuff. Take a look. I'm okay with, you know, losing money on a trade, but I'd prefer not to. No, I'm not selling the copious amount of drugs that I've collected. I would like to keep stacking those. Why am I not playing Fallout 4? Uh, it's good to switch it up. It's always good to change it up. Play the older titles when you can. I love them. Grew up with them. It's fun to dive into older content and kind of appreciate it for what it was. Ooh, I forgot to go back and waste time. I don't want to play Fallout 2. I would play, I would love to play, uh, um, Fallout 2. But what I really want is, uh, I want Black Isle, the studio that does Wasteland, to helm the remake. It'll never happen, but it'd be fun. And then my other my other wish list thing that's also never going to happen is a Larian Studios CRPG Elder Scrolls game. God, tell me that wouldn't be amazing, though. Tell me a top down CRPG four person party Elder Scrolls game would not go so hard. It would be awesome. Just take Divinity Original Sin, give it an Elder Scrolls skin. It would be amazing. Just spit the facts, Fallout 3 is a better game? Uh, no, but uh, they're all great. Hold on, one more day. Can never be too sure. Let's make it two. Let's just be sure. If you've never played uh, Divinity Original Sin, I've only ever played the second one, never played the original, but yeah, highly, highly endorse it. It's a really good game. It's pretty tough. It's challenging. Um, I think one of the more fun aspects of it, same thing with Wasteland 3, is building up your party. Obviously, you have control over every character in your party's equipment and their stats and their level ups and how they are also sort of developing. But what's really fun is in the combat, figuring out the combos that work together, the skills that are great. Uh, it, it it helps like tell a really cool story in the combat encounters of like this character and this character in your party love to team up and are good against these kinds of enemies. It's super fun. The original original is divine divinity. That's what it's called. I'm not too familiar with the series. But every time I talk about the game, I really want to play it again. Okay, all right, that should be enough time to get our reloads. Let's see which magical respawns we get. I was gonna say, I heard something. 
A lonely scrapper at the water. Hmm. There's two of them. Brawler and a scrapper. He has a lever action, so he's going to do crazy good damage. Not unless I sneak attack the gun out of his hands. I got it again. Yes. Yes. I know the sound of a BB when I hear it. Cut open his belly and gut him for the BBs he's holding out from me. I didn't do that much damage to the 10 mil either. The lever action. So we can sell it. Big victory in that battle. I don't think we're getting a full reset near the ritual spawn. But we do have the campfire party. Yeah, they're all dancing here. It's kind of wholesome. I feel like I'm crashing their party. I feel bad. Well, in my land, you need to respect the new laws of Point Lookout. No more dancing. No tomfoolery. Good thing they all go melee. Why are your hands behind your back? What's going on? Two down. It's a bruiser and a tracker. We'll go bruiser first. Damn, it does no damage. How close was that to crippling him? Kind of close. There goes his leg. His leg is now gone too. Shut up, quit your whining. I mean, do, do they have any mirrors here or like even a piece or a chunk of reflective glass that they could look at, see themselves, realize the life that they're living and know that, yeah, most travelers are probably just gonna shoot you on site. You don't just get to whine and cry your way through every battle, especially when you're the instigator. Although I guess I, I was the instigator for this one. Onion of Ohio, you caught the stream. Welcome. How are you? Whiskey. Rain makes corn. <laughs> corn makes whiskey. Something frisky? I don't remember the song. I could be wrong. Maybe it's in like a terminal entry or a note or something that I might have missed. 
But I don't really know any of the backstory of these fellows. Are they just psychotic swamp people and that's it? Doesn't really go much deeper than that. I mean, they're mutated in a way, but why are they mutated? Whiskey makes my baby feel a little frisky. I'm a country music fan. Don't mess with me. Are our smuggler friends back? They're back for their annual ass kicking meetup. Oh! Aw, oh, come on, Trenton. You're not gonna make it to the meetup? Yeah, you should have listened to Trenton. Hey, 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 hey. You're not supposed to be. Hey, you're not supposed to be that competent. Too far, too much. Woo! <laughs> Where's my MLG edit? Cha! Gonna throw it onto barter? Ooh. No, that's not gonna work. Lawbringer and contract killer, because you have to take him to a specific spot. Chemist with the chemist perk, chems you, chems you take less twice as long. That's a really good one. I'm taking chemist. Especially for this build, this area, chemist is very good. I, I feel like the smugglers are kind of falling off though. They didn't put a lot of effort in there. There wasn't, ah, oh, there's just, there wasn't a whole lot with that raid. This DLC reminds you of Wrong Turn. Is that a movie? Uh, ooh. It's not worth really going after these Meyer Lurks. Can I survive this? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, damn it, that was so close. No, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this. I'm not giving up. Come on, come on. Oh my God, that was about as close as it could get. Oh. Ooh, ooh, there's a lot of you. Speaking of frisky. Oh, you. That's unreal. The magical water shield of defense. I do like killing the Meyer Lurks, though. The Meyer Lurks are worth caps. They don't do a lot of damage. They die pretty easily. It's a pretty solid one for one transaction of ammo to cash. Minor radiation poisoning. That sign can't stop me. I can't read. Uh, Turtle Dove, I doubt all the ghouls respawn to Turtle Dove. Let's just try Truck Wreckage. Usually there's a couple smugglers here. No. Are you sure? They're always out here. A flooded sinkhole between Marguerites, Trappers, 
and little tykes. Oh yeah, flooded sinkhole. Oh, hello. Okay, there's only two of them. That's a BB gun, I'm not worried. <gasps> Are they both BB guns? Oh, they're both BB guns! We got a double whammy, but like a good version of a whammy. A bammy! Oh yes, give it to me! Feed me the BBs! I must have them all. I will not rest until I have claimed all the BBs in the entire swamp. The flooded sinkhole doesn't actually have an entrance, does it? Prepper shack, cellar, evacuated muck hole, rundown shack. Apparently I haven't been to the rundown shack? It's blacked out on the map. Oh, I probably just haven't swam in all this water. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There actually is something down here. Oh, that's rewarding. <laughs> I can't believe it, just on a whim. I thought it was weird that it kept going down. Then I just saw bubbles. Oh, oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh my god, I died. I swear if I fast travel and they don't both have BB guns, I'm gonna cry. If I go back here and the BB guns are gone... No! No! What was it all for? It was a waste! Come back to me. Nope. 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 No. I disagree. No, you know what? Actually, no. Oh, I can't believe you've done this. You know Okay, add Jet to our list of addictions. Oh, I'm so upset about that. I'm so sad. That's a bummer. Just ruined all my fun. I quit. Challenge is over. Everyone go home. On the bright side, I'm addicted to all drugs, which is kind of cool. Why is all this floating to the top? It just waited until I got here to start floating. <laughs> Gravity waited until I was in the area to work. I really did this again without saving. I'm an idiot. Oh my. Why is the hardest boss in this entire DLC a fucking lake? A lake. Why am I not saving before? What is wrong with me? BB gun? Okay, at least one of them has a BB gun. <laughs> That's hysterical before he's even got it equipped. It's gone. Local psycho materializes at a camp and just launches the gun away. Refuses to elaborate. Yes, you are correct. I did shoot you in the head. Okay, now I'm going to do this wild thing before I go into the lake this time. 
Uh, it's kind of a hidden feature. Not a lot of people know about it. It's called quick saving. Wow. That was really tough. I can't believe I made it out. Can I stand on top of this tin can? Oh, almost. I can. This is what the master of the swamp looks like. The water is 20 feet, yet I am standing on top of it. This is the real story from the Bible. He walked across the swamp with shotgun in hand. Everyone was mesmerized at the strength, divine power of Jebediah. Like, do you think there's an actual sinkhole that I can go into? I don't think there is. Do I prefer lockpicking in Fallout or Skyrim? I like Oblivion lockpicking. A lot, whenever we play Oblivion on the stream, a lot of people chime in and chat and say that it's always confused them. I've always liked it. But lockpicking's the same in Fallout and Skyrim. Half of those shots, I have no clue how they missed. All right, come on. Let me get another BB gun. Where'd he go? Where'd he... Where'd that... It's right here. Yes! Oh, all right, we've made up for it. Why is this man carrying three harmonicas? Just in case... Just in case the need arises and he needs to whip out his backup harmonica... You know, I tried to learn how to play harmonica one time. Actually, I have one. I never really used it at all. I don't know how to play it. I don't know why I got it. I was kind of going through this like weird, uh, like cringy uh, phase. And I thought it would be cool, but I'll have to ask my parents when I went through a like two week phase of trying to learn how to play harmonica. That had to be one of the most annoying periods of time living in my house. There's got there. There can't be that many instruments that are more annoying to listen to somebody practice and try to learn how to play than a harmonica. It's got to be brutal. BB gun. Now that's hunting rifle scrapper, 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 and then the one that's deep. Zero chance to hit.
smoking these guys now. They're so done. Later, like I said, my swamp. I'm running this place. I don't even need to take the drugs that I'm addicted to. I've been flowing on YouTube for four months. Keep up the good work. Me and my mom loves to watch your videos while we eat. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, that's actually some of the highest praise that I can ever receive. Which is, we watch your content while we eat. Like, oh. Huh? Like, you're having food? While watching? Thank you. That's like... That's premiere family time. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Your mom likes the channel? I don't mean that in like an insult. Like, oh, your mom likes the channel. <laughs> that doesn't really work. But I appreciate that. Thank you. My content's a bit chaotic for dinner, though. I thought it was pretty cool. You can't play any instruments. If I could go back in time, I would have liked to have learned piano before I learned guitar. Piano was super hard for me to learn. I knew I heard, ah, I knew I heard something now. Shut up. Yeah. That moment where your gun goes completely horizontal at 50 miles an hour. I actually think all of the scrappers are pregnant. That's my new theory. Hear me out. Yeah. Hear me out. The concoction of alcohol and drugs and everything is in their belly and it's forming a new scrapper in their stomach. Over time, the combination of drugs, alcohol, probably swamp water, and it probably bodily fluid of one of their relatives all mixed up before two more scrappers burst right out of their stomach. Sorry to put that disgusting image in your head. The game didn't give me any lore for them, so I have to make it up. That's a creeper. I can even tell from a distance now. Okay, we do not like creeper. We want to target creeper first. Let's let's change our strategy here. Let's target creeper first, go for his gun and see if the rest of the fight's easy. Because if we can isolate a fight to just scrapper, it's a joke. We figured out scrapper. Scrapper's nothing. Can I shoot the gun? 36% chance. Let's go for the head. We'll take our sneak attack. Go back in. I thought I was already addicted to jet. I guess I'm re-addicted. Let me go shotgun. There we go. Creepers down. Should be scrappers left. Scrapper. <gasps> How dare you hold on to your gun? You're breaking the rules. I'm surprised you know what your head even is. Don't need that shotgun. Oh my dude, okay. 
Let's just do this the easy way. Wait, did all this punga fruit respawn or did I not grab it the first time? I think I forgot to grab it. It's valuable enough to take. I think I was over encumbered. That's why I didn't take it. Over 100 to the right on a shelf next to two BB guns just before you enter Haley's hardware and point lookout. I might have grabbed those and sold them at the beginning of the game. When we first started, I stole a lot of stuff from Haley and sold it right back to him. I kind of feel bad for him. Why is this fun? All right, disaster relief jump scare. Yep. The disaster relief jump scare spawning point is starting to be really consistent in the starting lineup of our little rotation. Great loot, three easy kills. Uh, what places am I missing? You know what I'm gonna do? I go in here. Rest in peace, Marcella, but I'm going to sleep in your bed. This would be a creepy ass place to sleep. Why waste two actions on shooting out the weapon in case the first one misses? I just try to guarantee it. What makes you think there aren't any swamp folk women? How would you tell? Oh, my theory is that they all got divorced because look at them. <laughs> like, that's my theory. Look at these crazy psychos. I think their wives left them or or go back to my previous theory. They are forming. Uh, you know, their own swamp people in their belly. Oh, my God, they all respawn so quickly here. Stupid amount of them at this place. Oh. Oh. What a joke. How am I supposed to fear you? I mean, it's a massacre here. It is a bloodbath. So many chunks. I'm gonna have to put a sensor over every single little chunk of brain throughout this 10 hours of gameplay. I'm really looking forward to it. Nah, there's no shot I do that. I'm far too lazy to do that. Guess where we're going, chat. Hardware. Always good to see a stranger. Well, good, good to see y'all alive, friend. You didn't say that. I like when you say the line, Haley. Okay. Look around. It's all here. Don't don't hit me with your false positivity after you ignore my request. 
hurts my feelings. I work hard out there to bring you all this shit. I bring you good shit. I have five broken hunting rifles. I need to stop breaking them. Okay, we're good. I thought I did something really dumb there. I think I'm running out of fission batteries to grab around the map. I found a good amount of them, but I'm starting to run low. Microfusion cells. I'm not sure why I'm still holding on to microfusion. Ammo. 556. Five, I'll buy some shotgun shells. I don't need a ton. Sure, sure is a swamp folks head is, is squishy. See how we we have this connection, Haley and I, where we finish each other's sentences. See? We're just on a good wavelength, me and him. No, the the uh, the moonshine sells for a lot. I have to use it to make cash. Am I a full time content creator? I am Gordon Ramsay. I actually just went uh, full time a little over a month ago. It's different. It's different, but the same in a way. I definitely could stream longer, which is nice. I can stream more often. Um, last week, I wasn't able to stream as much. But yeah, I'm hoping over the next couple of months, I can really start to get into a good groove and be super consistent with getting videos out. There's a mod that makes the weight menu faster. It's a it's not the worst thing in the world because it does allow me to sit here and catch up on chat if I've missed anything. But thank you. Thanks for the congrats, everybody. Thank you. Now I get to live every waking moment of my life with more unstable health care than I had before and the constant fear that an invisible algorithm out there on the internet will just one day forget about me. It is fucking terrifying. <laughs> it's, it's really funny to think about it that way, but also goddamn terrifying. But you're stuck with my dumb videos for a little bit. Pace myself so I don't burn out. Well, I don't really have a choice right now. Don't worry, I, I do a decent uh, job of pacing myself. A lot of people worry about that. You know, really, the only thing that stinks is when I really want to have a project out, like the, the AI video. For Just to give you guys an example, so the AI video was really tough because in one video, like obviously I wanted to make the video, the title and the thumbnail to be about uh, having an AI write our quest. Did I not, did I not wait there long enough? What's going on, Haley? But also at the same time, I wanted to let people know that the Skyrim World Randomizer is now on console. It's added the DLC locations. I've talked about it on the channel a few times. So I don't need to go too in depth with it, but I do need to announce that the mod is coming out. There was also the fact that I wanted to cover the Nemesis mod, but the Nemesis mod didn't come into play until much later. But I also wanted to tell the full story of the loot of liars and the evil accountants. So I had this weird challenge of how do I do both in one video? I even had a great question from one of my close friends and he asked me, he goes, Hey, why don't you just make this into two videos since it was kind of in two parts? And what I explained to him was the fact that I wanted to cover all of these things. I wanted to introduce them early and then spend the rest of the time showing them off as best I can or trying to show off what it felt like to play in those settings and under those parameters. 
But figuring that out and getting to the point where I go, okay, I know the direction that this video is going is usually what takes the longest amount of time. Am I still editing all by myself? For the most part, I am. Um, I do have an editor named uh, Isaac who the last project that they worked on, they cut all of the Solstheim footage. You know, they cut 24 hours down into three and a half hours. And I do want to onboard them and get them more work and have them help out. But there is the part of me that goes, I want my videos to still feel like mine. It's very hard to get into a position where I just hand off an entire video. I can never do that. It's never going to happen um, unless I had a completely different channel that was just stream VODs edited and cut down to, you know, a half hour or something like that. But that that's not my, you know, like, that's not a Juve video. A Juve video is overly cinematic to a, like, a stupid degree, you know? Like, it's, it's explaining the loop that we're on right now, running around, blowing off uh, the heads of Swamp Folk, as stupid as it is, and as dumb as it is, and turning it into, uh something far more serious than it actually is. And I can't just like, I can't completely hand that off. Ah. But um, I will say, Isaac did, if you go back and you watch the Fallout 4 landmine survival videos, if you've seen those two videos, Isaac actually was in charge of cutting all of that footage down so he just, all he did was cut the footage into highlights. He turned, you know, eight hours into 45 minutes. And then I did everything else. Like writing is an important part of my videos. But it's not just, it's not just narration that's written. The actual editing itself is also written. What shot do I want to get here? I say this, what do I want it to look like? That kind of stuff. And that's not something that I can just hand off to somebody. If that makes any sense. I'm the George Lucas of Bethesda game content creators. That's a really funny comparison because that's like, a, are you saying my videos are like the prequels? Kind of over the top to uh, an awkward degree, in a way. Ah. Way too ah. serious. Ah. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is a huge attack. Hold on, I gotta lock in. Okay, we're gonna switch back here. We'll go backwater. Oh fuck, that was an awesome fight. 
finally I actually kicked ass for once. I think I've just beat the game. I had to go through probably 10 or 12 stim picks there, but that was much much easier and less stressful than other fights. Plus I was 11 grenades. These guys drop insane loot. I love this DLC now. I'm having like, it's weird. Some of the most fun I've had with this DLC has been in this stream, just running around, finally gaining some power and smoking the swamp people. Because they were such a pain when we first switched over to very hard. Now that I'm finally starting to get control. How cool would a Fallout game set in New Orleans in the Bayou be? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, okay, if you could pick any location, let's see if there's enemies in here. If the ritual basement respawns. Uh, if you could pick any location in the entire United States for the next Fallout game, what would you pick? Because I've thought about this before, and I think we've talked about it on stream before. So apologies if you're on the VOD channel, we're retreading old ground. Also, hi VOD channel viewers, if you made it to this point, like the stream. Uh, oh, there are enemies in here. Ooh, hello, there's a lot of ya. Creeper and big boy. Um, I think my pick would be the Tex-Mex border. So I guess Mexico and uh, Texas. That would be my pick. I think it'd be fucking sweet. Reason I say Texas is you would be able to still keep a lot of the Lone Ranger, the Lone Ranger vibes from New Vegas, which would be pretty cool. Uh, you could cross over into, well, I actually, what am I saying? I just want the Red Dead Redemption map. I want whatever the original Red Dead Redemption 1 map was, where it was split into part Mexico, part Southern America. That's the map that I want in Fallout. I want the Red Dead Redemption 1 map. Uh, just that general area. Make that a Fallout game. I've heard a lot of people say Chicago. I don't know about Chicago. Chicago's, uh... Chicago's too big. I think places like New York and Chicago are too big to scale in a believable way for a Fallout game. Boston? Definitely scalable. Like, Washington, D.C. isn't massive, massive, so it was scalable. Actually, having flown over Vegas, it is funny how tiny it is. Whoever did the voice acting for these guys did great. Which is kind of funny because other than a couple characters, the voice acting in this DLC is pretty eh. But the voice acting for all these characters is awesome. I can't say it's not because they've jump scared me a few times. Okay, you know what? I'm getting really sick of your of mice and men ass constantly coming after me. Let's take a trip out to the river. Come on. God 
That book was actually sad as hell. I think when we were when we were getting that book read either to us or we were doing like a group reading when I was in high school for Of Mice and Men and there were like multiple people crying. It was intense. <laughs> it was fucking intense. The enemies sound like Fargoth? You think so? Seattle would be fantastic. Kenny, that's a great that's a great pick. Yeah, I would put Seattle on my shortlist as well. The Space Needle. That's a great one. Um, trying to think. Yeah, a lot of people say New Orleans. I feel like the vibe, if it was New Orleans, then the vibe would be really similar to Point Lookout in Far Harbor. Oh, they found me. Look at that vertical bullet. Oh my god. How does his body backflip before his head moves? Cha-ching. Is his head going to roll all the way down? Ted's had some crazy momentum. Kill them all. Oh, all right, you got the best of me there. I'll give you that one. Really, I still broke the missile launcher? Yeah, I don't I don't see uh, New Orleans as as interesting of a fallout location as others oh. okay come on let's just oh, holy shit I want to try and send him flying off the thing Close enough. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, friend. Okay, more smugglers up here at the resting grounds. It's the annual ass kicking meetup at the cemetery. I've been hit. Really, have you? Tough luck. Woo! Once again, we level up right at the cemetery. Okay, small guns is maxed. Barter 55.
adamantium skeleton would be next or fast metabolism or i could go intense training six i could just keep pumping up my natural stats which i don't really hate doing yeah let's go luck we'll throw luck up to four The amount of times I've leveled up intense training is kind of dumb. But more critical hits? It's just a passive bonus to my DPS. Nothing wrong with taking that. Good to see y'all alive. Sure as a swamp folks head is squishy. Look around, it's all here. As a Swamp Folk enthusiast, I can confirm that their heads are in fact not squishy. Okay? If you could stop insinuating that their heads are malleable, I would appreciate that. We're out. We're on top. We're so on top, it's not even funny. Back up to 3,300. I'm pretty good on ammo. My stuff doesn't really need many repairs. It will soon. My shotgun's in kind of rough shape. But even if I do repair it, what sure does it cost the swamp now? Folks head is squishy. It costs 150. It used to cost almost 250. Yeah. All right. I mean, that's about that. For the most part, I am having fun with this and I would love to keep doing it because we're finally, you know, I, I do, I would like to get to the point where the scrappers or the, the big ones are going down in like two hits. I mean, what do we even... I'm going to take a look at my stats. Quest completed, 14. Locations discovered, 31. Apparently, I have good karma. People killed, only 99? Creatures, 321. I wonder if it counts the swamp people as creatures. Six locks picked, one computer hacked, 333 stim packs taken. That is nuts. 333 stim packs taken. Chems, 73. I'm addicted to four different drugs. I found a bobblehead in the intro. We did take the medicine bobblehead at the intro. Might have been slight cheating. Kill one more person to make it even? You're right, if I've only killed 99 people... There's only one person I can envision to be the 100th. Mwahahaha. <laughs> yes. I'm not gonna kill Haley. Why would I kill Haley? We already killed Tobar. I can't believe we killed Tobar actually. That was a that was a wild twist. I don't know why I'm collecting shit. It's just force of habit. There it is again, that sound. That soundy sound, the type of sound that sounds soundy.
where is he? Uh, Desmond. Is he gone? There's no way he's gone. Well, fine. There. There, we just got our 100th kill. <laughs> that asshole, either he really thought he could sneak up on me, huh? You thought you were just gonna little what eek up right to the edge of the island? It should have been Haley. It should not have been Haley. Why would I kill Haley? Anticlimactic. I usually like to end things pretty anticlimactically, or they just usually do. The the nature of these challenges, it's kind of hard to plan a grandiose, over the top finale. How is that a lay one hundredth? I'm not getting crap for that. That was cool. The sniper thought that he was going to run up and get me. We took out that sniper yesterday, and it was kind of wild when I did find him there. I remembered that he was there, so I used previous knowledge from a previous stream. If you weren't there and you don't know the context, sorry, not my job to tell you that. Okay, and then I turned, and like Indiana Jones, when he turns and shoots that one guy, I just cool, calm, collected, one shot, boom, took him out. I thought it was cool. 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 Uh, I could bring the book to Dunwich. I can't. We can't leave. We're stuck here. Uh, also, no, he can't be in the panic room. We cleared out the panic room and took all of its loot earlier. How much play time do I have on this character? What are we at? Just under 11 hours. We hit level 10 or level 15 pretty quickly. We leveled up fast. I don't level up that fast in a normal playthrough, even if I'm trying to do it. Turkey stick dying in a battle with the oh, don't remind me. That hurts. I was so mad about that. And it was after I had been gone from the holidays, so I hadn't played on the on the character in a while. I wasn't warmed up. I, I needed to warm up before that stream like it was Rocket League or a competitive game or something like that. Um, that's going to be it for me tonight. I think that might be it for that challenge. I think by the time we were done with it, we were we had the loop of the game kind of figure it out. Did I give the book to what's his face? Yes, I gave the book to the guy in the mansion. And then I went down to his basement and saw him practicing cult nonsense. And took him out because of it. That's how we ended that quest. Right, I don't think I can get any more... I don't think I can get any more out of that challenge. I think I am uh, done for the most part. But it was fun. I had a good time with it, and I'm glad that it ended kind of fun as well. So that is going to be it for me for tonight. I'm going to send you guys over to Snam, who I believe just started his stream. If you like my videos, you'd like Snam's. I love Snam's channel. He does great challenges. He does like athletically challenging video game challenges, like mentally straining stuff that makes the challenge challenges we do over here look like cupcake stuff. That's going to be it. Talk later. Appreciate y'all. Have a good night.